Hey everyone, a few weeks ago I had been looking for some advice on how to best press the orchids for a wedding that I had. I don't get to order them a whole lot in our area and I got a lot of fantastic advice, but I found that everybody kind of had their own advice. Everyone, some people put them in the coolers, some people put them out of the coolers, some left the water tubes on, some took the water tubes off, some back there, some didn't, and I found my own method of doing it. I took all the information that I received and kind of put it together into a good guide for orchids that I find works for me. And I wanted to share that with you. I do not have the luxury of having a tropical cooler here. And so most shops I don't think have that either. So we don't have the right temperature in our shop and we don't have the right humidity because obviously they like humidity and the rest of the flowers do not so we do not keep it very humid in here so i received these orchids today for a wedding this weekend from my wholesaler katie in wheeling and it looks like they actually came from houserman's orchids in villa park which is super exciting because i didn't know we had an orchid farm in our area so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox these. Now, sometimes you'll get them in paper or plastic sleeves and sometimes they'll come like this. So mine came with lots and lots of shred, which would be great, I can save that for later. And they come taped into the box and they have water tubes on them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the stem out, gorgeous white Phalaenopsis stem, and I'm gonna pull the water tube off. And then I am going to go ahead and spray this. Now I'm gonna use Finishing Touch uh, you can use Crowning Glory too. As we all know, Crowning Glory seals in the flower, um, whereas Finishing Touch still lets it breathe a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray the whole orchid down. I don't wanna spray all over my counter, but go ahead and so you can see that. Nice and heavy on there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my stem and I'm gonna put it in a clean bucket of water. Uh, I do not have any food in my water. I did just leave it plain water. And I do let it sit out just a little while to kind of let anything come out of that water that needs to. And so we're gonna go ahead and process all seven of these stems that way. Now I will go ahead and use Crowning Glory um, for the day of the wedding or put it on the day before the wedding, whenever I actually design with these. These are all gonna be going into an archway piece that will hang down. I do use this method for all my orchids now. I do use it for, I mostly get dendrobiums and phalaenopsis, but you could use it for macaras or bandas as well, as well as some midiums. I don't see any reason that wouldn't work for them too. All orchids, most orchids have basically the same care. They're not all identical, but they're pretty close. And we'll take all that shred off so it doesn't get moldy. Processing for individual blooms of orchids, say that you're going to use in a corsage or a boutonniere, are going to be a little bit different than this, but this is just for the single stems. one here. Okay, so now I have all my orchids in the bucket. It does have several inches of water in it. Got our orchids. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to let these sit for about an hour or so. 
Um, I know they say with finishing touch, you just give it at least 20 minutes. You basically just want it to dry. I will probably let them sit for close to an hour, but I'll keep an eye on them. Once they're basically dry, you're ready to bag. And so from there, once these are dry, I will go ahead and bag these, but I'll go ahead and show you that now. So these um, are just big, like thin trash bags that I use. Um, you can use like the black trash bags, but they do, they're kind of heavy and you want something lightweight and delicate. So this is just a very thin trash bag that I bought. I buy these at Hams Club in like a bulk pack. And then you just gently, just try to keep it, you know, keep some air above it so it's not totally on the bloom because you can help it. And then you just want to take that and you want to just tie it right at the bottom. You can use a rubber band, you can tie it, whatever you want. And what that's going to do is that's going to use the water inside your bucket to create a humid environment for your flowers and they will stay nice and happy. So you can check on them throughout the week, um, but you can just leave them out in your shop just like this and they will hydrate and they will stay very happy for your wedding over the weekend. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section and that should do it. Thanks so much.